Hey everyone, I'm Zeth the Plyrel, and I'm very excited today. I got exciting news, exciting stuff happening. We are going to be unboxing the World of Nintendo Skyward Sword Link action figure. And I'm just very excited because I've been waiting very long for them to release a figure like this that you can just run to the store and buy. Very affordable. He's $8.99. I mean, and for the detail and posability, it's well worth it. Especially if you have a little Figma link here. It's going for about $50. And they're from the same series. He's quite a bit smaller, less paint detail. But let's go ahead and do the review. I'll start with the box review and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. Here we are taking our first look at the... World of Nintendo Skyward Sword Link action figure box. Let's see, on the back we got good boxy stuff. You know, we got the figure here. He looks kind of different from the final product here. He looks kind of glossier, I guess. It says Link with Mystery Accessory. Four inch figure with 13 points of articulation. And then they got all these other Mario characters. Like, come on. It's about time they made a Zelda or Gear Him figure or something with all the Skyward Sword stuff they do. And I'd really love to see them do Toon Link or Ocarina of Time Link in a fully posable figure like this. Because they've done, they've done so much Skyward Sword lately. And I love you, Figma Link. Well, let's get some variety. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Figma Link. Meet your little brother. Yeah, so the World of Nintendo figure is quite a bit smaller from Figma and the other characters. My little sister actually got the Yoshi figure and he's like huge in comparison to Link. We can see we have the sword here. Master sword. Pretty nicely painted. Mystery accessory included. So mysterious. I really like how they did the goddess chest from Skyward Sword to match the figure. One interesting thing I noticed about this box here is actually the print of Skyward Sword Link. If you will notice, they've actually flipped the image. So he's left-handed, even though Skyward Sword Link is right-handed, which makes me wonder if maybe they were thinking about making him left-handed since Link is usually left-handed, but Skyward Sword Link is not. And as you can see here, because the belt's on the right shoulder, this figure is also right-handed rather than that. So let's go ahead and open him up. On the bottom of our packaging here, we got this little cute little pixelated base here. Woo! Here is our legendary goddess chest here. I guess it goes like that. Yeah. Goddess chest. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So here is our figure. Super cool. As you can see right here. Bloop. See the sheath right here, and you've got a hole on his back. Very similar to Figma Link. And that just presses on there, right, and right, and right. You got this item number printed on the butt here. <laughs> that's that's funny. You got some beautiful detail on the chainmail, which is very surprising because you look here. Figma Link, there is quite a bit of size difference there. If if you look at his chainmail here, he doesn't actually have the little printed detail that this little guy does. So that's a very cool feature. Right here on his collar, you can see that it's not painted white. It's actually painted the same color as his chainmail. But, you know, it's still awesome. They did paint on the earring. The face mold is, I think, really nice. It's kind of the same face of this figure right here. The ears are cool, the hair is very nice, and the eyebrows. So everything's painted properly. I mean, there's lack of paint in certain places, but nothing's painted like an incorrect color. You know, like you could have put a little paint right there and on the sheath, but I'm not gonna be critical because this figure's awesome. So thoroughly impressed with this, what we got here. It's just fantastic. Okay, as for our items here, we got the Master Sword. And it is it is very cool. It's a nice, sturdy, hard plastic with a very slight bendable rubbery feel to it, but overall it's it's sturdy. You know, you're not gonna worry about breaking this in half or something. And you've got the sheath back here, very thick and sturdy as well. It fits nice and snug in there. See that? Nice and snug, not gonna fall out or anything like that. So that's, that's awesome. All right, now we are going to open up the secret item. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. The mystery item is in fact the Hylian shield. Kind of to be expected because it's it's iconic for Link. And I know that it's the same for every figure. It's not like in one you're gonna get a hookshot. 
as cool as that would be to get like claw shot or something. So looking at him now, we know all the accessories. So trying to get his hand in the shield is kind of difficult. Like you gotta really work it in there. And the shield handle part is made of a very rubbery material so that the handle itself can wiggle. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this on real quick. All right, so so there we go. His shield is fit into his hand and fits very nicely. I like the uh, the simple detail on this. Very nice. No like chrome paint or anything. It's just kind of a flat whitish gray color. Um. So yeah, go ahead and put the sword in the hand. All right, so there he is with sword, shield, and sheep. Now it's time for posability. All right, so as for posability. I mean, you may have seen that short little stop motion I did in like 10 minute, <laughs> very rushed stop motion there. Posability here, you got a full head joint, very nice. I noticed the joints on this figure, he's very, it's very loosey, loosey goosey joints, which is not bad. He seems durable, it's not like something that's gonna cheaply fall apart. It's truly a toy for kids and collectors alike. It's not something that's gonna fall apart if you play with it, you know? But it, it makes a great collector's piece as well. So we got the head joint here. We have this waist joint. See that? Pretty cool. There's no like forward and backward motion. I mean, there's a little wiggle room, but mostly it's just for like, I don't know, spin attack or something. <laughs> Anyways, um, shoulder here. You can see it has this ball joint, but yeah, his arm can go up to about there. And this arm, the same. And on each arm you have this, which is identical to the Figma Link character. This joint here that actually pivots, moves, and then also pivots from this arm as well. <laughs> So a lot of posability in the elbow. And as for the hand, you got rotation and this joint here that wiggles back and forth. Twin Cool made that piece brown there instead of the skin tone. You got the sword here, awesome. Come over here, all the same posability on this arm. This hand is different though. You see it's made for holding a shield. This one's kind of angled outwards, like to hold his sword, you know, skyward. Skyward sword. Nice detail, they even painted this brown, the strap there, it's really cool. I did notice one thing here, you see here is the break in the chainmail to like move the legs, but then there's this little notch here, which I can't figure out why they put it there, because it's not like a slot or anything for leg movement. Don't really know why they put that there, but it's alright. There's a hole in the bottom of the sheath, so you can see straight through it, I guess just to keep the sword from getting stuck in there. As for leg posability, it's awkward, but <laughs> you can see there's a ball joint in his leg so his legs can actually spread outwards, which is cool. And this is nice rubbery material here. I mean, it's kind of stiff, but more or less rubbery. Makes good so you can move his legs in good poses. It's a really nice pivot joint here, and the foot actually rotates the bottom half of the leg. As for the foot here, there's no toe joint. One thing that's different from the Figma. And the ankle joint there. So that's about it for posability and this figure review. Very awesome figure overall. I think well worth $8.99, you know, $9. If you can find him, he's pretty hard to find at Target. They have tons of Mario and Yoshi figures, but if you want to get these two bigger figures here, Bowser and Donkey Kong, I've seen them at Toys R Us. And the rest of these smaller guys I've seen at Target, except for Wario. I haven't seen him anywhere, don't really care, but found Link at Target. Actually had Phoenix of Termina, she picked it up for me the night they were released. So that's how I got it. I mean, he's he's good sturdy figure, made for true like play and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about breaking him easily. I'd still be careful with some of the joints there, like the elbow seems a little thin. Other than that, I think he's great, sturdy figure. Truly excited. I can't wait till they do more Zelda figures, because this is uh, series one. I'm gonna do more figure reviews in the future if they do more Zelda figures. So I'll do a review on each one I get. One last thing I wanted to say here is this Skyward Sword World of Nintendo figure 
actually fits to scale rather nicely with the old Ocarina of Time figures. You can see Gandorf there. He's always been freakishly tall. Phantom Ganon. Whatever. Oh, I guess you could you could put him on a Pona. Pona looks kind of big though. <laughs> but, you know, generally fit to scale with those figures, so that's a cool little note to make. Hey, that's it for this figure review. If you guys like this action figure review, you should check out the other one I did of the Collector's Edition Ganondorf Wind Waker HD figure. And if you guys want to check out my Figma Link adventures, check out my Tumblr, link in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching this, I'll be doing more. And adventure on, heroes! Like, comment, and subscribe! Tell me what you think! Alright, love you guys!